Hi, my name is Lisa Timmerman, and I'm the executive site manager of Historic Dumfries, Virginia, the nonprofit that operates the Weems Botts Museum. What a lot of tourists and even locals really find fascinating is that Dumfries used to be a thriving seaport. We were extremely nautical, and not many people really realize that today. So by the end of the 1600s, we start to have a lot of Scottish settlers move to this area, very attracted to Quantico Creek because it was so impressive and so massive. This would actually make Dumfries a seaport, a thriving town. Uh, by the early 1700s, people started claiming land, and by 1749, so many people are living here that we applied for and got the first charter in Virginia, becoming the first chartered town. By the 1760s, we're actually exporting in tonnage as much tobacco as New York City. And there were over 60 businesses here as well, such as a racehorse track and also different playhouses. So the, uh, the Port of Dumfries is the economic center for Prince William County in the 1800s. Um, so it's, it's formed in the 1740s as a town. Uh, and it is basically the commercial heart for not only Prince William County, for, but for a lot of Northern Virginia. Um, so during this time period, what most Virginians are uh, producing is tobacco. And so tobacco is really what's driving this, this economy. But most people in Virginia um, aren't actually buying other people's tobacco. So basically what they're doing is they're producing all this tobacco for Europeans. And Dumfries is a perfect location for ships to come in because at one point it is a deep sea harbor. So you could have sailing ships that can travel the North Atlantic, easily come down the Chesapeake Bay, up the Timic River, and uh, stop right at Dumfries. So you could have a large ship basically right in Dumfries so you don't have to put the tobacco on a small ship, row it out to the middle of the river, and then put it on that big ship before it goes over to, to Europe. So at one point, Alexandria and Dumfries are competing to be the main port of Northern Virginia. So unlike Alexandria that diversifies, and so not only are they tobacco port, but they're also a port for wheat and other flour, um, Dumfries is just basically setting itself up for success or for failure on tobacco. And so when the price of tobacco starts to go down, it really starts hurting the, uh, the town. The other thing that really hurts uh, Dumfries is in the 1770s and the 1780s. After the American Revolution is uh, coming through, um, those main buyers of Dumfries tobacco, Prince William tobacco, are British merchants, either in London or in Scotland. So during the American Revolution, not surprisingly, no one is buying Virginia tobacco in, in England, in Great Britain, and after the American Revolution, those two big markets are still closed. And so now you have the overproduction of tobacco, which is bringing down the price, but now Prince William merchants need to find a new market for all this tobacco, and it's gonna take a while. And so that just really starts to speed the, uh, the process of, of declining the town. Um, again, Prince William County is really just tied to the cultivation of tobacco during this time period. And unfortunately, there's an over-reliance on tobacco, which means people are clearing more and more of the land for tobacco fields because tobacco is a very hard crop to, to grow year after year because it takes a lot of the, the nutrients out of the soil. So one of the, the cheapest and easiest ways for Prince William farmers to cultivate more tobacco is just to cut down more forests and plant more tobacco in those new fields and let the old fields just grow back in, into woodlots. The problem is it takes a couple of years for the trees to really come back into those old abandoned fields. And so during the time uh, that you have reforestation taking um, effect, you have rainwater coming in, there's no crops, there's no grass, there's no trees to keep all that sediment in place. And so you have the rainwater just flowing down into streams and that, set, uh, that silt, that sediment, is then going down um, all these streams um, one of which is Quantico Creek, and eventually silting in Quantico. Um, so it eventually starts to, to hurt um, the economics of Dumfries and Prince William because that's the main port for most Prince William residents. Um, but the, the effects of um, that silting really are drawn out 
um, at least for the economic health for the town of Dumfries, because in the 1750s, after Fauquier breaks away from Prince William County and becomes its own county, uh, we, need, we need a new location for our courthouse. And so Dumfries is selected as the county court seat. So that's the, the capital for Prince William County. So even though this, the, the port is slowly silting in, you still have a lot of people coming into Dumfries because they have to pay their taxes. They have to go to court. Um, they have to do any of the, the civil records that we take for granted today. They all have to go to Dumfries. And so if you're a resident of Dumfries or more importantly, a tavern keeper or store owner, you still have a lot of people coming in. Uh, unfortunately, though, uh, for the town of Dumfries, at least, by the 18-teens and the 1820s, more and more people are moving out to western and central Prince William. And so you have a large part of Prince William County now saying, why do we have to go to Dumfries for our court days? Because there's really no reason to have the county court in Dumfries since the, the court is silted in. All our produce is going up to Alexandria. So there's really no reason for us to, to go to Dumfries, especially if I'm coming from Haymarket or Buckland. So can't we move the county seat to a more central location to be more convenient for everyone? Um, the town of Dumfries, not surprisingly, fights that really hard uh, because they realize that's going to kill uh, their town economically. if They lose that county seat. Uh, but eventually, a new town is going to be created uh, in what is now Bristow, Virginia, called Brentsville. And that is going to be replacing... Uh, the town of Dumfries. And so after the county seat moves, uh, Dumfries really just really goes on a steep economic decline. Um, so it's not a, a free for all, uh, a free fall rather, um, with it becoming an abandoned town, but very much by the 1830s, it's, it's good days are, are really past. And that's reflective of Prince William County uh, because by the 1820s, more and more people are moving out of Prince William than moving into. And so for about 100 years, Prince William keeps losing population. So the town of Dumfries really is a good re uh, reflection of Prince William County as a whole during this time period. So today what's really neat is that many genealogists actually reach out to us because they know their families came here when Dumfries was a thriving port town. And unfortunately, a lot of people did leave during the siltation of the creek. But a lot of families today realize the importance of Dumfries and contact us to research their family history.